Hello everybody, this video is going to go over the answers to the meiosis TED-Ed. The first question under the think part of this TED-Ed is what are homologous pairs? Homologous pairs are pairs of chromosomes that come from gametes, right, or reproductive cells, like eggs and sperm, and they're going to code, these chromosomes are going to code for the same type of genes. So for example, a mom might give a chromosome that codes for blue eyes and a dad might give a chromosome that codes for brown eyes but because they both code for eye color they are homologous chromosomes they are a homologous pair the second question asks what is crossing over so crossing over has to do with these homologous pairs right so we have here we have two pairs one codes for red hair that's straight and one codes for brown hair that's curly. They both have to do with hair. There's a hair color gene and a hair type gene. Okay, And in crossing over, the homologous pairs are going to get close together and swap genes. Okay, So this red hair could come over here and the brown hair will go over here. We'll keep the type of hair, the straight and curly hair, at the same place. Those won't switch. But then I have two chromosomes, one will code for red hair that's curly, and the other one will code for brown hair that's straight. This helps get that variation in there so that you don't look like just your dad or just your mom, you look like a little bit of both. The third question asks, what are all of the stages of meiosis in order? All right, so we start off with prophase one, okay? Looks a lot like normal prophase. Right. Then we have metaphase one, and the big difference is now you've got the chromosomes lined up in pairs of two, right? Anaphase one, you've got the chromosomes on either side. Telophase one, just like normal telophase. Then we get to prophase two, where we start again with now with two cells. We have metaphase two, now we have the single file line with the chromosomes. Anaphase two, now we have the chromatids separated. And telophase two, when we start to get all four cells. The next couple questions are about mitosis, meiosis, or both. Um, so I'm putting them all on the same board. So we have question number four. Interphase happens once before the process begins. That's in both. In meiosis, we don't have an interphase in between meiosis one and two. We just go straight from telophase one into prophase two, and it continues. There's no break in between. Okay, so interphase only happens once during both of these, right before it. Number five, process ends with identical cells. That's only mitosis. Remember, the point of meiosis is to get four cells that are totally different from the parent cell. Okay, so mitosis is the only one that's going to end in identical cells. Six, produces gametes. Remember, gametes are the reproductive cells like sperm and eggs. Okay, and that's going to be produced by meiosis. Seven, produces four cells that have 23 chromosomes each. Again, that's meiosis. Um, eight, crossing over occurs. Remember, crossing over is part of what helps us with our genetic variability, which is going to be important for meiosis, and that's when it's going to happen. And number nine, the process is important for growth and repair. That's mitosis. Mitosis is the one that's going to grow the cells that you need and repair the cells that work for your body in general, all right? Meiosis is more about your genetics and mitosis is more about your growth and basic functions. Then we have the discussion question, which you can go ahead and answer on your own. There isn't really a correct answer to that at the moment. So go ahead and do the discussion question on your own. And then in the next video, I will go over the meiosis worksheet. So go ahead and find that video if you're ready to go over that one.